Senator, I just wanted to pivot for a, a second to talk about some of your, your other colleagues on the left on a different issue, which is I, I think you probably saw earlier this week uh, Senator Schumer and uh, uh, Bernie Sanders coming out with a plan against buybacks. I understood why Bernie Sanders took that position. I was surprised, frankly, to see Senator Schumer take that position, uh, given his own history historically, and wanted to try to understand just psychologically what you think, why you think he's personally taking that position, and what you think that suggests of the party right now. Well, the Democrat Party has taken a hard left turn, uh, higher taxes, more regulations. You've seen it with their so-called Green New Deal. You've seen it here, and I think Pre Senator Schumer is seeing that's where the energy and the enthusiasm uh, and motion of the party. It is a really a lurch to the left uh, with Bernie Sanders being so involved in that, but all the presidential candidates, a number of whom are senators, are all heading that way on the Democrat side, and you can kind of go through all of the issues that they've gone through, and I think it hurts our economy. If you think about the State of the Union speech and how strong our economy is in terms of jobs, uh, in terms of the job numbers, in terms of wages, unemployment being way down, and what we've been able to do in terms of energy, right. and I'm from a big energy state, Wyoming, the, 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 we have a strong, healthy, growing economy, and it does seem that the Democratic approach is to actually put on the brakes the reason rather I ask than grow about the Schumer, economy. The reason I ask about Schumer in particular is he was always considered a, a centrist moderate, if you will, within the party. And then, and I just, I, I don't, I wanted to try to understand whether you look at this and say, is this a cynical ploy uh, uh, on one issue to, to, to gain uh, some support? Uh, from, 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 from those farther on the left. I mean, what do, what do you think is, was driving that decision to, to pursue this? And by the way, I think there's real legitimate questions about buybacks, especially with companies that have underfunded uh, pensions and, and, and the like. So I, 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 don't, I don't want to dismiss the issue outright, uh, but I, I, I do think that the, the approach is, is interesting, to say the least. Yeah, no, I think Senator Schumer went, uh, was actually taken back and surprised by the resistance movement as it sprung up after President Trump took the oath of office, the people that were protesting outside of his house in New York. Uh, and I think that that has driven him to act as the, as the leader because he said, hey, these are my people. I am their leader. I better get over there further to the left. And I think that is driving all the action and the motion in the Democrat Party right now. The party has taken a hard left turn uh, on it must be a dozen issues right now, and there, I think there are things that are going to hurt the economy. What can you, what can you do, though, Senator, to try and, and swing them more to I mean, how can you offset? How can the Republican Party offset that? Because it is right now, it is perceived on, you know, among our viewer base as a war on, on capitalism, not just the wealthy, right. but on capitalism. And, and though polling is suggesting that it's popular, by the way, on both sides, which is the real, right. which, is the, which is the other major shift. Well, there, there clearly is a division in America right now, and uh, it is driven by a number of, of factors. But we know that the strong, healthy, growing economy we have in this country is a result of the tax cuts that the Republicans were able to pass, the regulatory relief that came as a result that uh, has allowed for much more opportunity and much more economic growth. So I think we need to continue those things. We're going to continue to talk about this, this wonderful economic news. We're firing, firing on all the cylinders, and it's, cut, and it's really the tax cuts and uh, the regulatory relief that is fueling it, and, and the, the left is going further to the left.